everyone. Welcome back to Viewpoint TV. My name is Dahlia. I'm standing right here today at the Tiff Bell Lightbox for the Toronto Palestine Film Festival. It's hosting its 10th year anniversary, promoting the Palestinian culture through the cinema, visual arts and music. The film festival started with a book signing and talk at OCAD University. People got to meet journalist and cartoonist Joe Sacco. I was a little pissed off at my own profession of journalism because I felt it's, it was objective style journalism that had given me this very wrong impression of a whole people. And so in a way I wanted to go uh, meet the people, let them speak for themselves uh, and do those stories. Attendees also had the opportunity to meet author and artist Leila Abdel Razak. When I first started working on my comics, it was really to like help people understand a little bit more about the situation of Palestinian refugees. Refugees are often left out of the conversation and so for me it was kind of a way to like bring the refugee issue forward, bring the, the importance of the right of return forward. Special guests also included the Canadian representative in Ramallah, Scott Proudfoot. I'm always looking for ways of, of encouraging cooperation, uh, cultural exchanges, economic exchanges, what have you, between Canadians and Palestinians. So this is one of them. It's an opportunity. The film Festival educates people about Palestine through different avenues of the arts. The embroidery workshop was run by Taraz owner, Dana Masood. It was actually the first time I attend TPFF and I think it was great. Um, I think everybody's lovely and I think the whole, you know, like atmosphere about, you know, everybody coming together to support Palestine is just amazing. And as they say, Rome wasn't built in a day. It takes organizers like Dina to make an event like this successful. The inspiration that we see um, from people that are coming out of films is just insane. The debates that they have, the, the dialogue that is being had after the films is just completely amazing. So one thing I do personally want to say to, to our audience, well, first of all, to thank them for their continued interest, because if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't exist. Um, but second is to, you know, always bring a friend, always start the conversation. It also takes volunteers like Sally to ensure an event like TPFF is running smoothly. A multicultural society like Toronto and Canada in general, that there is a Palestinian community within here, and it's kind of great to see that there are people like, for example, volunteering that are not Palestinian, that are people that are coming to view the sh uh, movies and the screenings, and they're gaining a knowledge about like what it's like to be Palestinian. People came from near and far to participate in TPFF, like the trio Jerron brothers, who delivered a phenomenal performance. This is also beautiful that. They, the, the message is not just for the Palestinian or the Arabs population in Toronto and Canada. It's also they are targeting the Canadian or the other diaspora people here. We need to talk with the other people. We need to show them that we are not a project of death. We are projects of life. We want to live. We want to dance. We want to make music. Although with all the sadness that we are taking in, inside ourselves, but uh, with art, this is the only hope that we have. TPFF gathers people from all walks of life to learn about the Palestinian culture. It's called a film festival and it started as a film festival, but it's become more of a cultural festival featuring music, poetry, as well as film and other events. So I think it's really great to just keep expanding the, um, the knowledge about Palestinian culture to the community at large, really. Whether it's film, whether it's the visual arts, whether it's music, and once you have that individual connection, you can start a conversation through art. So uh, that conversation is the beginning of something that can lead to change, and it's the beginning of a connection that can get you there. Well, we know that there are so many different languages, right? And sometimes in the process of trying to connect with each other, we lose that. But I find that art is an ability to connect with something without having to use words, but rather to take in that own reflection. Uh, so it's a perfect medium to explore different viewpoints uh, and really getting involved and then allows people from different communities to break it down in their own language as well.